welcome to Guinness World Records. I'm Ian Wright and do we have a show for you tonight. We've got star after world over on the lookout for people, genuine people who want to break unbelievable records. Here's a taste of what's coming up. We've got some awesome stuff on the show tonight and the woman who tracked all these people down is with me, Kate Charman. Thanks, Ian. Well, you won't believe what I found for you tonight. So, Amy, when did you when did you find out you could do this? Um, when I was a kid, I always liked circus sideshow performers, and I've always had a thing about sucking my thumb, eating lots, drinking. I suppose you could say I'm a bit orally fixated, really. Is that right? <laughs> yep. So I decided to become a sword swallower. Okay. <laughs> well, that's very interesting. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the sort of thing like anyone can do? No, it isn't. I mean, you really should know what you're doing. Um, you should, uh, you have to go through quite a series of procedures. Your body needs to understand exactly what's going on and you shouldn't swallow a sword straight away. So, Amy, purely out of interest, what is the biggest weapon you've ever put down your throat? <laughs> what, are you la what, what are you laughing for? This, these are weapons, aren't they? <laughs> purely... For the audience, Amy... I'd, I'd say the longest um, weapon would have been a sword, and that sword would have been about 23 inches long. <laughs> Amy's going to try an incredible record for us tonight. She's going to attempt to swallow five swords. Amy, how many swords do you normally swallow? I normally swallow one. Um, the most I've managed to swallow before is two. So you're going from one, <laughs> your most you've done is two, and you're going to do five? Yep. Do, do you think... It's a bit dangerous, or...? A little bit, yes. Has anybody, um, any, has anybody died doing it? A lot of sword swallowers have died from doing multiple sword swallows. Uh, it's the most dangerous, I'd say. And what could happen? How, when you say they die, what, obviously, like, something... Well, the swords pass quite near your heart, so there's always a danger that you could um, pierce your heart, pierce your stomach. Uh, it could slip, disappear into your lungs. You Ooh. could die. <laughs> And you still want to do that? Yeah. We've actually filmed with a special camera called a fluoroscope what it looks like when a sword goes down your throat. You can see just how close it gets to your internal organs. Does that, does that frighten you or anything? It does. However, I'm not going to let that get in the way. Please remember that this is a really dangerous record. Never ever attempt to try this with any object. It takes years of training to get this right. And we've got a special medical team on standby just in case anything goes wrong. Hopefully it won't. And if you're thinking that these blades aren't sharp, then just watch this. <laughs> Emmy's going to be taking her top off to prove that there are no tricks or cheating involved in this. Thank you, Amy. Stage is yours. <laughs>
unbelievable, incredible. Can we have a look back? Let's have a look back at exactly how it went. Did you feel confident at this stage that you were going to be able to? Um, yeah, I was quietly concerned, I think you could say, by this point. You're going past something, I take it? Yeah, that would be and then about the voice box. Bang. What was you actually doing here with the one sword? Well, I was finding it quite difficult to get them down, so I thought I'd warm my throat up um, by letting it down, just checking that. I did actually have a passage there, because I thought I might have blocked it. So, no. A new Guinness World Record, ladies and gentlemen, Amy Saunders. Amy's now in the record books for what she can put in her mouth. Let's meet a man who's trying to set a record for what comes out of his as we join Mark Thompson in America with the world's fastest rapper. Mother knows him as Shondale Price, but in the rap world, he's Rebel XD. He's with me now, and you already hold a Guinness record. That's correct. For the fastest rapping. Right. 674 syllables, was it, in under a minute? Right. 54.9 seconds, to oh, be exact. Actually, re really under a minute. Right. Tonight, tonight you're here to break that record? That's correct. Well, to help you get in the groove, you brought your own DJ yeah, from the DJ south side e. of Chicago. Right. Yeah, DJ E. <laughs> and tonight, I should tell you that Rebel will be rapping an original composition entitled Record, Record Breaker. Breaker. To make certain that you're enunciating each and every syllable of every word, we have a speech analyst, Art Mankey, right over here. He's going to be here to verify That's great. each and every syllable, and it's all going to be digitally recorded on the latest computer software. We've been preparing for you. In fact, double insurance. We'd ask the Guinness record holder as the world's fastest court reporter, Linda Sturm, to come here from Columbus, Ohio. She's taking down everything you say. Do you think you can keep up with the fastest rapper, Linda? I'm going to give it my best. You're happy with the equipment. You're familiar with the equipment. Already I'm speaking too quickly for you, aren't I? You're thrown right now, aren't you? You're shaking, aren't you? I am. All right, Linda. Wait till you hear Rebel. He's amazing. If you're ready, and are you? Definitely. You'll have 60 seconds. The stage is yours. DJ, get him in the groove. Yeah. Y'all ready to witness this? Okay. I'm about to do this. I'm coming to rock and I'm taking the rap and breaking them up. When we be coming to take them and taking them up on my side. When we get them and taking them up, when we be seeking them back, I'm gonna hit them with my jumble. Look at the radical, then I'm gonna send them a put them back in line. When I'm making a rap and I'm coming to get them and breaking them up. When it's becoming an enemy, tell incredible lyric, I'm putting me up and coming. You're not be double the rap and double the story. I hold them down on my title. I'm making a vital one. Then I'm gonna get them on the side. I'm hanging them up. When it's becoming a vital me, that'll be dumb and a fact. I kind of be stupid to step on the taking the weapon away from the rap. When it's dope, then I'm a cap and a pack and a fact and a grab and a rap and a choke. Stupid committee of rappers want to be lyrical enemies. Soon be stepping away and I'm making it better. Then let them step in and get them and egging them up. When I'm making them up, when I'm taking them up, when I'm be taking them out of my academy, get them better and better and later. When you want to be stepping in me, when I hit them, kind of jamaica rap on the floor and drop them down. When I kick them in, I'm rapping to be compelled to make a skeleton. When I'm hitting them, eat them, beat them, and see them, and stick them. I want to come and defeat them and pop and drop and come and mop and mop and get them and then I'm a shock. I'm making a prayer when I bring them down with lyric and making them follow me. I hit with a script and rip and pick and trip and up on all the beat. Stepping away when I'm becoming a given a kind of critter, but then I'm rapping about it. I'm breaking the rap and making a getaway when I'm becoming a tack and a hack and a back and a mop and a pack and a rack and a mop when I get them. I got them and checking the record and making them want to get out of my rap when I'm coming to jam and a rap and a penny me smack on the ceiling and trap on the enemy. Then I'm a slam hit a second and waking them up, kick and breaking them up when I'm taking the mic up into my hand. I'm gonna get them a lyric. I heard them and wrecking them in. My lyric is making them wonder why many be thinking the sand is duck and I'm taking the duck and I'm breaking them up when I hit them into rubber erupt. Great job. Great job. Rebel XG! Thank you. Thank you. Hey, it sounded like a world record to me. We're going to check with Art Mankey to make sure that everything was copacetic. He's going to decipher every word while we're doing that, and he's going to check that out. Let's check with the world's fastest court reporter. Linda? Yes. Let's uh, read back the rap. See what we have. Okay, I'm about to do this. And then we started the rap. I'm a common. <laughs> and then I kind of lost it after that. <laughs> and then it looks something like flim flam rub a dub and I rubbing a dub double the fat. Ema take them being up. Take particular the the coming getting a ripping and a shipping. And I <laughs> hey, she got a ripping and a shipping. How about a, a round of applause for the world's fastest court reporter? All right, let's see if you broke the record. <laughs> 
All right, Rebel, the judges are checking out your rap with the digital software. Let's listen and see what you sound like at almost normal speed. Taking them up out of my sight when I get them and taking them out when I'll be seeking the mic. Does it all check out, judges? Perfect. 683 syllables in an amazing 54 and a half seconds. Congratulations, Rebel XD! Thank you. Thank you, Jamie! Also, our thanks to our special guest, Linda Sturm. The world record, Rebel XD! Now, if you're squeamish, look away now, because after the break, you'll see some of this.